Oh, hello. I didn't know you guys were... I didn't know my camera was on. So, I, I'm joking, I did. So, I got the... Uh, Jawless, a jawless skull ring, a full jaw skull ring, and the father skull ring. So, so I don't know what to name this guy yet. I don't know what to name this guy yet, but this is Bob. As you guys know, this is Bob the Skull. These are sterling silver. Uh, yes, the bottom of this one is huge. Um... From the Great Frog of London. So, um, I got the one, the small one, on Thursday, and it's come. It's getting shipped on this we coming Wednesday. Probably won't get it until the week after this week. But it's smaller than this, so it's like the baby of the family. All right, so you know. A lot of people these days are deceived by the devil believing that sometimes after they die, they stay lingering around here on earth to complete their unfinished business or, you know, to something that they didn't accomplish when they were alive. And so... Before they could pass on to the afterlife, heaven or hell, they stay behind on earth, lingering around, lingering around, people call it limbo, um, as a ghost-like spirit, disembodied spirit, um, you know, just to stay uh, haunting places or unfinished business. Well, what we have to go on is as Christians is to, for truth and facts is the word of God, the Bible. The Bible doesn't mention anything about disembodied spirits of people after death staying behind lingering around after they die in a ghost-like spirit like, you know, floating transparent thing haunting places or f staying there until they finish whatever that was that they needed to finish and then they could go to heaven or hell, their afterlife. There is no support in the Bible whatsoever about that. So there's only one explanation and that's demons. A lot of people who see spirits are either schizophrenic or they're seeing demons because they open the door Whatever it is that they're doing in their life, open the doors, portals for demons to come into their life and manifest themselves to them as deceptions of their loved ones. You know, this might scare you, but there's nothing to fear because we're children of God and God protects us from evil spirits. But demons study us. They're all around us right now. That's the part that might scare you. Is demons are all around us. Angels and demons right now as we speak are all around us. There's demons and uh, there's angels in, this, in my very house right now in a spiritual warfare. But if you're having that, there's a difference between that and demonic activity. So demonic activity is not the same as them being around everywhere. Because they are around everywhere. Um, de demonic activity is when demons do things. Like possess you or manifest themselves to you. Um, and no, I don't think a true born again Christian can in fact be possessed by a demon. But they can be influenced by it and tempted to sin. Um... But if, if you're seeing demons, or if you're seeing ghosts all around, it's not the souls of your loved ones. They're demons because you probably open a door. If you're messing with an Ouija board, if you're playing tarot cards, reading, if you're a fortune teller, and you're seeing ghosts everywhere, you definitely opened yourself up to the demonic. Um, 
you know, like watching horror movies like Saw, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you've definitely opened yourself up to demons if you're seeing ghosts. Um, so, demons, since they're all around us, they study us. All right, so when demons study us, they they watch all of our they they know our thoughts, our memories, because they they're in our minds too. Um, I, I don't know how they are; it's something beyond our capable of, capability of understanding. But um, they they study us, and they they know our personality, so they. They know everything, that how we do everything, our personality, so that when if I die before my family, there's I'm not saying it happens all the time, um, but demons would manifest could manifest themselves as me as a ghost to my family at their house and my brother and to my friends. When it's not really me, in order to deceive them. In order to deceive them, making them believe that they're actually seeing their son and their brother, me. Um, when they're not. There's nothing in the Bible whatsoever that indicates that a person stays trapped here on earth in a ghost-like state after they die. So if a person dies and if the loved ones see them as a as a ghost or roaming around in their house as a spirit, you know, there's uh there's a video um that this lady's son died of a drug overdose and her ring camera or security camera in her house picked up her son's ghost and he was wearing a white t-shirt and basketball sweat shorts. Are you serious? If anything, your ghost isn't going to, your soul isn't going to be wearing a white t-shirt and sweatpants, the clothes that you were wearing before you died or when you died. Um, and that person, that mother wasn't seeing her son. She was seeing an evil spirit de 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 deceiving her into thinking that it was her son. If you're seeing a loved one that's died as a holog like a like a transparent bright bluish kind of um ghost like yeah transparent um what do they call it uh it's something with an a um affiliate no uh appara apparition or Apparition, I think. If you're seeing an apparition or like a, a form or like a, uh, yeah, like a form or a human-like transparent figure of your loved one, it is not your loved one. Let me tell you that right now, it is not your loved one. Do not talk to them. Do not converse with them. Do not, you know, anything with them. Pray to God. And it, it tell the ghost-like figure that's impersonating your loved one to get out of your house in Jesus' name because it's a demon. There's nothing that is that there's nothing in the Bible that supports people becoming ghosts after they die. Once you're dead, you're either you either go to heaven or hell. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 27, I believe. For it is appointed unto men to die once, and then after this is the judgment. So you get judged after you die, not immediately after your death, but basically, uh, your when you die, your final destination is set. So the instant you die, if you're unsaved, you immediately go to hell. If you're saved, you you immediately go to heaven to be with the Lord. And then on Judgment Day, um, you know, people will be taken out of hell and people will be taken out of heaven and stand before Jesus at the great white throne judgment for the unbelievers and the, the judgment seat of Christ or the Bema seat 
of Christ for the believers. Um, so there's nothing in the Bible that supports anything about people becoming ghosts after they die. So I'm sorry if this offends you in any way, if you've seen the ghost of your loved one or something like that, and you believed it was actually really them, it, it was not them. Because there is nothing in the Bible that indicates, that supports the reality of people becoming ghosts after they die. I, mean, I don't know what else to say about it. We go by the Bible. We go by the Bible, the rich man and Lazarus, as soon as they died, they were in paradise and Hades. They weren't stuck around like a ghost-like figure. So, I, you know, I do believe, however, in near-death experiences, if you die on the operating table, you can hover above your body in like a, um, like a spirit, a spiritual form, but you're not going to roam around your, you're not going to roam around saying goodbye to your loved ones or haunting places. Remember the people, people who physical people can't see spiritual people. There's angels and demons in our houses right now. But we cannot see them. They have the power to manifest themselves. Yeah, sure. But um, you, you just you can't see them right until they do that because they're spiritual. They're spirit beings. You can't see them. You can't hear them. They're spirit beings. Yeah, you know, I've seen in near-death experiences before. People have actually tried that died on the operating table. Operating table have actually di- uh, tried to contact their family members. They try to talk to them. They they try to move things with their hands to let them know that they were there. But their hands went right through them and as much effort as they try to talk to them, they couldn't be heard. So that's the closest you can get to being a ghost. And But the ghost that I was talking about are people being able to see you and ghosts haunting places or finishing unfinished business or something like that. There's nothing in the Bible that supports that. So um, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, on the other hand, is, is real. The Holy Ghost is real. But people becoming uh, ghosts after they die... There's nothing in the Bible that supports that. So I hope you guys enjoy.